So YouTube, team keep it clean. Oh, it feels good to say that. What's going on, baby? How y'all feeling right now? So it has just been announced. This is a breaking news, breaking news that the Baltimore Ravens are signing Mr. Jadavian. <laughs> They signed a Jadavian Clowney. Man, y'all, y'all, those of y'all that have been here, y'all know, man, y'all know I've been waiting to say this for years and it actually be official. It be real. And now it is. I ain't heard about the terms yet. I ain't worried about the terms yet. I think it's probably going to be like a one year deal. Something. We'll see in a little bit. But Jadavian Clowney is signing with the Baltimore Ravens. They heard me. Y'all heard me, Ravens, and I thank you for hearing me. I thank you for listening. I appreciate it so much. Really do. And I know there's going to be some Browns fans that saying what they're saying. There's going to be some Seahawks fans that say what they say. There's going to be some Titans fans that say what they say. There's going to be some Texans fans. It's going to be some Ravens fans that say what they say. But know this. I ain't worried about none of that right now. With Jadavian Clowney, like I told y'all before, we can change him. We can change him. We can change him. And if we get a healthy Jadavian Clowney, this is what we were talking about before. We can get a motivated Jadavian Clowney. And he's going to be in a much different situation, a much different situation than he was before with all them other teams. Like, seriously, think about it. Think about it. How close were the other teams that he was like? He did. He was on some some nice Texans teams, but not like these Ravens, man. The Ravens are a lot closer than what the Texans were, than what the Titans, what the Seahawks, Browns. They a lot closer than what those other teams were. So you gotta hope, and, and I'm sure Eric DeCosta and them, when they with them signing Jadavian Clowney, because he's expected to officially sign tomorrow, but. With them, I'm, I'm sure they had the conversation like, hey, this is what we're trying to do. And I'm, I'm sure that they all the rumors that we heard about Jadavian Clowney, they, I'm sure they heard all of that, all of it. So I'm sure they had to sit down with him like Jadavian Clowney, like, look, man, we want to bring you on. We want you to be a Baltimore Raven. But if you're going to be with that funny stuff, no, you, you can stay where you at. And that. It's commitment time. The commitment. The, hey, they, if they signing a the deal, they making it happen. So Jadavian Clowney was obviously told him the right thing. Like, oh no, 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 I, I ain't with none of that. I'm ready to come in and, and make my mark. I'm ready to come in and help. So Jadavian Clowney about to <laughs> about to be a Baltimore Raven, man. Ah, I love it, man. I love it. I love it. I know it's a lot of Ravens fans that were not for this move, that are not for this move. But guess what now? You ain't got no choice but to support it, right? Nah, it's okay. If you're not a fan of this move, I get it. But I know y'all, anybody that's not a fan of this move, I know you're still going to be hoping that he does well. And you're going to be hoping that he does end up proving you wrong. Um, because that would mean that the team was doing well. That would mean that he was doing well as a member of the Baltimore Ravens. So, yeah, we, we are Jadavian Clowney fans now, huh, baby? We all on the same page. I like it. I like it. Um, with Jadavian Clowney, uh, we remember. I, I guess it didn't work. I guess it didn't work because remember, uh, we talked about how it was. It was interesting that when the Ravens they had Jadavian Clowney in for a visit, but he he left without a deal, obviously. But it was said that the Ravens offered him a deal. We don't normally hear about that, especially from the Baltimore Ravens when they offer somebody a deal and they leave. We don't we don't typically hear about that. Um, but with Jadavian Clowney, we did, and, and I said that I think it's because Jadavian Clowney, his side, they probably leaked that. They probably leaked that information because they wanted to see if there were any more suitors out there. They wanted to throw it out there one last time, like, hey, I, I like the Ravens or whatever, but, you know, l l let me try this one last thing, this one last pitch to the NFL. Anybody want me? All right, here we go. Throw out that bait. All right, Jadavian Clowney, he left the Ravens, but they offered a deal. So, all right, to anybody interested in me? Talk to me. Jaguars hit line one. Hey, Jadavian, come in for a visit. All right, there we go. He went in for a visit. Left, no deal. Oh, okay. While that helps, at the same time, it doesn't really hurt the Ravens because he left there without a deal. So Ravens offered him a deal, so it's still sitting on the table. So did Ra I wonder if Ravens sweetened the pot a little, if they added a little extra, or if they were like, you know what? Hey, take that or leave it. 
I'm thinking if it's Eric DaCosta, he probably told him take it or leave it, man. He probably said, I ain't added nothing to that deal. You you can take that. If you, if you don't want it, we'll go in another direction. So, yeah, man, Jadavian Clowney is getting ready to be a Raven. Um, Jadavian Clowney's strong suit. It's not even uh, his pass rushing. It's not that. So, hey, if we can get some nice stuff out of that, that'd be great. But his strong suit is his run defense. That's the thing that Jadavian Clowney is known for, for really being an anchor and really helping out in strong run defense and really setting that edge. And the Ravens could certainly use as much of that as possible. You know who else was pretty good at that? Calais Campbell. You know what Calais Campbell is right now? In Atlanta. So he's not with the Ravens anymore. So, and Broderick Washington, he'll probably fill some of that role too. Uh, but Jadavian Clowney, that's him all day, every day. Uh, so that, that'll that be nice for the Baltimore Ravens just to, just to have that, man. Just somebody who just brings that, man. And it's exciting, man. It's exciting. The more powerful players you have, the more primetime players you have. And, hey, <laughs> oh, this is good, man. This is great. This is really great. Uh, and Ty, Tyus Bowser, two different positions, him and Jadavion Clowney. But Ty, Tyus Bowser's still on the way back, too. You're still waiting on him. So I wonder if that could give them a little motivation to sign Kyle Vanoy. Hey, Ravens, y'all you, 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 do what y'all do. Y'all got it. Y'all got it. This has been like, this is, has been almost like a dream offseason for me. Like for me personally. Because, again, signing Jadavion Clown, when they brought in Odell Beckham, like, I, I was, nah, that, I was like, nah, that ain't going to happen. They, they would never sign nobody like no Odell Beckham Jr. Ravens? Oh, no. Nah, mm-mm. Nope, they did it, and they did it for significant money too. And then I was still saying, "Hey, draft, draft another receiver, man. The more the merrier." And, and y'all know I wanted DeAndre Hopkins too. And that it was looking like that was getting ready to happen, but Ravens were like, "All right." And Raven, we don't fulfill enough of his dreams, and we got some more of his dream, his dreams that we gonna fulfill later on. But we'll take care of that later. So they said no to DeAndre Hopkins. Said, okay, cool. It is what it is. But then uh, they drafted Zay Flowers. I said, oh, they, 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 they drafted a receiver in the first round, too? We signed Odell Beckham Jr. We, no, no, we signed Nelson Aguilar. We signed Odell Beckham Jr. Rashad Bateman coming back, and they drafted a receiver in the first round. I was like, whoa, hold up. Who are these Ravens? Who are they? And, and then old offensive coordinator, Tom Munkin, because they moved on from Greg Roman, and they brought in Tom Munkin. And so they they just been making a this has been a very very I mean every off season is busy but this has been a very busy off season for the Ravens, but now they get Jadavian Clowney, so welcome aboard Jadavian Clowney. I don't know what his number's gonna be. It ain't gonna be ninety nine. What? Who's number ninety on the Ravens right now? Mm. What's Michael Pierce number right now? Is it fifty eight? Uh, I don't even know, but they they'll figure all that out. Um, but yeah, but seriously though, I uh. You know, you know I'm glad for this one. Um, y'all know I'm, I'm I'm hyped for this one, and I, and I really do hope it works out. I I, I understand all the concerns about um, work ethic. Uh, I understand the concerns about the possible being overrated. I understand the, the the concerns about him not wanting to participate in training camps and stuff like that. I understand the concerns, any concern, the injury concerns too. It's a little bit of those, but I get all the that. Uh, trust me, I do. Um, but let's just hope that. Things will be different. Things will be different. Ravens are obviously taking a chance on Jadavian Clowney because they see something that they believe in. They see something that they want to take a shot on. Um, they see somebody that knows Lamar is like that too. Cause remember, remember who his comments when he was a Seahawk when Ravens played Seahawk. But uh, they they see somebody that they really think like, oh, okay, this guy he actually may be something. Um, so Ravens riding with it. You know, um, I, I'm I'm riding with it. Uh, especially with it being uh, JC, um, but yeah, man, he certainly helps out this team uh, in a big way, uh, in a, a major way, and he can help, man. And, and I really do, really love the uh, just the what seeming to be an all-in approach um, at for this season by the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, I wish this approach would have been taken years ago. Especially with Lamar being on a rookie contract, especially after the 2019 season, in my opinion, it should have been all in every year after that. Every year after that. And now, while in, I think, was it 2020 where they built that nice ride, or was it 2021? 
I forget which one of the two it was. Well, they 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 built a pretty nice roster overall, but then everybody just start getting hurt. Um, but I just wish they would have taken more of an all in approach before. But hey, I guess they were like, you know what? Let's wait a little bit, and now they going for it. So I like it. I really do. Uh, we know that cornerback is still. If Ronald Darby can be healthy, it will be straight. Should be straight. Then with the defense and everything, and just really everything around them too. Because while Marlon Humphrey, again, probably the best defensive player on the team. I mean, uh, you could pick between him and Roquan Smith. Um, but with Marlon Humphrey being out, everybody around their job becomes that much more important, and everything, all of their contributions become that much more significant. Uh, so it's important for the Ravens to really mask Marlon Humphrey's absence now. Um, and while he's gone And then when he comes back It'll be like Hey We'll get even better um, But anyway I love y'all I appreciate y'all I know in this video I know my thoughts Are all over the place But that's just Because I'm so excited And so happy That this finally Like officially Officially Happened Because I remember Years ago And it was seeming Like we were close And they were close But Everything ended up Falling apart But They finally Got it Done <laughs>